Now with all the parts disassembled and the gaskets removed, we can now bring up the bucket of detergent solution that we had prepared earlier and basically place all the parts inside and let them soak for about 15 minutes. And while that soak time is taking place, you can go on about cleaning the rest uh, of the vessel. Okay, now all the parts are inside our detergent solution and soaking. Okay, now that all the components have been sitting in the detergent solution and soaking for 15 minutes, we can take them out and transfer them to a bucket of clean rinse water. And while we're there, we can also use uh, a nylon bristle or an abrasive pad, just making sure it's the uh, non-abrasive kind. You don't want to use the, the typically green scratch pads because a lot of the surface of the stainless steel can be easily etched with the abrasive pads. Uh, you can even use a used toothbrush to get into some of the more intricate glutes and crannies, for instance, around the uh, areas, the grooves where the gaskets go. So we will transfer all the components into the water. And once there, we will use our pad, nylon brush, whatever we have, use toothbrush, and we will clean each of the components individually. After uh, scrubbing all the components, we have one more transfer to do. We will take everything out of um, the clean water solution and we will put everything into our sanitizer solution bucket where we're gonna let everything rest for about five minutes. You can do all these transfers while you're going about cleaning the rest of the vessel uh, in between times.